you're new around here, I am Josh, this is the City Stead, and I really love to talk about seeds. We have been doing all sorts of talking about them, we've been doing all sorts of little haul videos, and I've also been doing an Heirloom Company Spotlight series where I pick some lesser known companies that maybe are not talked about as much and I try to just give them a little bit of a platform, a little bit of a, you know, a boost out there to let you guys know here are some different companies you hadn't heard of perhaps. Maybe they're in your backyard, maybe they're doing things that you really enjoy. So for this week's Seed Hall video, we are doing the Little Shop of Seeds. And yes, Prax, the guy who actually owns the company, he contacted me on my last video and told me the inspiration for the name was actually the Little Shop of Horrors, which just makes me so happy. Uh, <laughs> I loved the name when I saw it and I was like, oh my goodness, that is genius. And to find out that he actually did uh, name it after that movie just really, really makes it that much cooler to me uh, because I love that movie also, which who doesn't? It's a great movie, right? You guys ever see it? I mean, Rick Moranis is talking to a plant that's a human bloodsucker. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's absurdly ridiculous, but awesome. So if you miss the spotlight video we did on these guys, I will throw it up right there. You can check it out. Uh, why you would be interested in this company over all the other companies out there? Well, they sell seeds for 55 cents a pack. And just because they're 55 cents a pack does not mean that you are getting skimped out on seeds. As you can see, there is a ton of seed in these little packets here. A ton. So the whole idea behind the Heirloom Company Spotlight Series is to find unique companies that offer something different. Uh, the thing that really drew me to this company, like I said, was the name. Uh, it just kind of played off really well. I thought this is definitely some place to check out. And then when I got there, I found out that the seeds were 55 cents a pack. And that is the cheapest that I have ever seen good heirloom organic seeds for sale. Unbelievable price. And some of that is because they use this very minimal seed packeting. You can see it's just a you know little Ziploc bag with a sticker over the top that says what is in the, the packet. That's it. So by having this plain seed pack, it's actually saving you a ton of money. Which means you can buy a heck of a lot more seeds. When I noticed it was 55 cents, I scooped up a whole bunch of seeds. I really wanted to put them into my traveling seed swap package that we do. If you don't know about that, I do a pink envelope. I wish I had one here, but it's a big, bright pink envelope. I stuff it full of seeds. I make a little video and then... You know, a few days later after we post a video, we pick a random person in the comment section and we send the seeds off to them. They can take as much as they want. If they have seeds they want to trade back with us, they can fill it, send it back to us, and then I do another one and we send it out again. Uh, the whole goal is to try to spread as many seeds as I can uh, across the country. Seeds that I've harvested, seeds that I buy from different companies, and I got a whole bunch of seeds from this guy raise the little shop of seeds that are in that packet. So let's talk about some of the things that I found interesting and bought from little shop of seeds. Every gardener needs to grow zucchini. I picked up some zucchini seeds from there. It's one of the easiest things to grow and it's also super duper productive. I also got an Oregon sugar pea. My kids love peas. It's one of the few garden things that they actually really enjoy like all the time. And I can definitely get them to eat it without any uh, fussing or fighting. I also picked up some Swiss chard seeds. And I am a massive fan of Swiss chard. I think it's one of the most versatile greens that you can grow. You can cook it. You can eat it like a regular lettuce, spinach. Uh, just You can eat the stalk. Man, you can stuff the stalk with peanut butter and have bumps on a log with that stuff. To me, Swiss chard is the uh, ultimate green. And you should definitely grow it. I love, love me some Swiss chard. So I had to pick up some Swiss chard just because I like it so much. I have so many packets of Swiss chard seeds, but we also plant a ton of it through our entire garden. A couple of things I thought were pretty neat was this Green Globe artichoke. And I've never actually grown an artichoke, but I've been also really interested in trying it. Uh, I gotta get them in the ground like or in some dirt real soon if I'm gonna grow them here in Michigan but I was able to pick those up I found those I also picked up some Brussels sprouts and we are big Brussels sprouts fans here am I a fan of Brussels sprouts 
or not? Hmm. Let me think. I also picked up a pack of green onion seeds, and uh, one of these definitely went out in the seed swap envelope. If it's out there, there's some green onions in there for you, which are really good. They're an awesome thing to put on top of just about anything, uh, add a little bit of extra kick of flavor. So you got to get yourself some onions, right? I feel like peppers and tomatoes always end up coming last, but it's because they're kind of like the exciting thing. That's what a lot of people love. Looking for those different heirloom tomatoes and heirloom peppers. It's a lot of fun. So I ended up picking up a Rutgers tomato and then also... Really cool, uh, Ray, who runs the Little Shop of Seeds, actually has a YouTube channel uh, where he does a lot of gardening, and he does inside and an outside garden. There's two channels, and uh, the channel's name is Praxis. Praxis, I think I'm saying it right. And he actually developed his own little cherry tomato. Let me show you the name right there. Bam! So this is actually his cherry tomato that he's been developing, which makes me really excited to give it a shot, just because... I would love to be at that point one day in my own garden in life where I can, you know, have my own variety. He also did some peppers. He's got a sweet, Ray's Sweet No Heat Habanero Pepper. So, are you a fan of habanero flavor? Because I am. It's a really good flavor. The heat definitely can kick my butt at times. But... Having a no heat habanero, that sounds awesome to me. And I would love, love, love to be able to try that out. We also have an orange habanero pepper, which there you go, you get a little bit of that heat, the actual heat that you want. And then I also picked up this Ray's Pusha Joala pepper. I don't really know much about this one, never seen it before, but I love peppers, so I'm gonna give it a shot. So there was quite a few seeds, you can see right here. And I actually had a ton more that went out into that swap envelope. And hopefully a lot of other people are going to be enjoying these seeds this year. What an awesome deal. 55 cents a pack. I mean, I could go back here and just continuously buy. Uh, <laughs> just being at that price point, it makes you feel so much better about it. But it's also great to just support a guy who's been gardening and loves it. And wants to share his love of gardening with as many people as possible. And make it super affordable and accessible for a lot of different people. All right, well, there's today's haul, guys. A lot of good stuff there. Excellent prices. Go check it out. I will drop a link down below. Of course, you can go down there, go to the website, maybe check out his YouTube channels, watch some of his videos on how to garden, how to be a good gardener. He is an excellent gardener. <sighs> That's it. Another wonderful seed Saturday. It's normally when I post these. Hopefully you guys are getting ready to plant your seeds if you haven't already started. Hopefully you're getting really excited for the season. Hopefully these seed videos make you extra excited. And if you are somebody who has just started gardening, hopefully they're giving you an idea of where you can buy certain things and where you can get some of the best prices. All right, guys, remember, be bold, grow bold, and I'll see you guys in the very next video.